What's going on guys, it's Nate from Nate Bauer Fitness and this is for all you guys out there who need to work on your heavy bag stamina and endurance. Listen up. This workout is seven rounds guys, but the important part of this session is I separated the upper body from the lower body so that we can really build on your capacity for work separately because a lot of you are really good up top throwing your combos when it comes to stamina and some of you are really good on the bottom and some of you weak up top, weak down below. So the thing is, let's separate them so you can number one, see what your strengths are and your weaknesses. So how the workout works guys is we're gonna be working anywhere between 30 sec 10 seconds and 30 second sets. So that's a lactic versus anaerobic conditioning where I want you to work at a certain level of intensity for each round. Each round has two components to it, two sets. We're gonna repeat each round or each two sets four times per round. But again, I will guide you through the entire thing so you're never confused. So guys, just a heads up, if you do this workout three to four times, especially in the first couple of weeks, three to four times a week is awesome if you're just working on stamina. If you do that for the first couple of weeks, maybe a few weeks, you're gonna notice a substantial difference in your endurance and stamina, which is gonna allow you to crush out more intense workouts on the heavy bag. Don't get me wrong, you're still gonna work in this heavy bag workout, but this is all about building heavy bag stamina and endurance. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. Round number one, guys, you are working at 75 to 95% effort, just to give you an idea of how to put in work here. But it's really important that you don't go full out. Put in enough work that you're feeling it, but enough that you're not going full out. Your combination is a jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, one, two. Let's go 30 seconds starting here. Let's go. One, two, one, two. Now again, you can go non-stop on the one, two, one, two, or you can throw one, two, pause, one, two, pause. Don't be afraid to mix it up, but at the end of the day, jab, cross, jab, cross, and move around the bag a little bit. Relax your shoulders and your hands, use your core, rotate that back hip a little bit, and keep moving. We're building, remember, endurance and stamina, so don't be afraid to use your shoulders a little bit extra. All right, let's go, rest. We're gonna quickly transfer into your cross hook, cross hook. So right hand, left hook, right hand, left hook. Right, four punches, two, three, two, three. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And you can see here I'm pausing in between combos, taking small steps between combos. So you can mix it up. You can go nonstop with the two, three, two, three. Or cross hook, cross hook or you can get that pause in between. Five seconds. Guys, be aware of the speed that you can rip so that you're not dropping your hands, all right? Rest. You wanna work at a speed that you are not dropping your hands. All right, let's go. Jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And keep the hands up as you bring them back. Come on. I want nice controlled steady pace on this guys. You're moving between combinations. See here I'm pausing between combos. 15 seconds. And the idea here is I'm just resetting my hands after each four punches. And then it's putting a little more power into that heavy bag and keeping my hands up and rest. And just think of bringing those hands back to your jaw or mouth and keeping those elbows tucked into the rib cage. Let's go, cross hook, cross hook. Step between combos, again, 30 seconds. The bell will give you an idea when to stop and start. Two, three, two, three, step. Step in between each combination, less than 15. Breathe with every punch. Obviously you're moving with every combo. Rotate that back hip on the right hand, the forward hip on the left hook, and rest. Jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, one, two, and you decide. You can go nonstop or pause in between. But remember you're working between 75 and 95%, ideally towards the 75% mark. Ready, let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, right? So you can change it up a little bit. See here, I'm just throwing a little more power into my one twos. Bop, 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 right? And just trying to keep that same tempo. So keep the tempo the same. Think about the same power generation 
on the jab and the cross because you do want to get used to throwing the jab with some power so it doesn't feel lazy or sloppy. You don't want a jab that feels like a floppy fish. You want some power behind that. All right, rest up. We'll quickly transition into that cross hook, cross hook. Two, three, two, three. Let's go. Again, sets of 30 seconds. Stay on your legs. See your target. Move around that heavy bag. Two, three, two, three. Cross hook, cross hook. Two, three, two, three. Right hand, left hook, right hand, left hook. Right hand, left hook, right hand, left hook. Don't drop below 70% effort, guys, or 75% effort. And do not let your hands drop. So work at the speed you maintain that hand height, all right? Rest. All right, let's go. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Get it in there. And again, you can pause between punches. You can move nonstop with the jab, cross, jab, cross. Either way, don't be afraid to work those shoulders. Don't be afraid to use your abs to help you rotate on that right hand and the jab, actually. See your target. The important thing is you want to challenge your stamina, right? Even though I gave you, you know, a percentage of effort, you still want to challenge it. So if you don't know what 75% means, just work harder than you normally would, all right? Rest but not so hard you can't sustain the pace. So just think about it that way. Let's go, cross hook, cross hook. Last one before your first break. Two, three, two, three, step. Two, three, two, three, step. 15 seconds and ideally I do prefer if you're working these on the outside because it's just going to challenge your arms a bit more right it's just it, the longer lever you're gonna have to use more energy to get those hands out there and rest up guys all right good work round number one is done let's take a 45 second break and then here what you're going to do for your next round is you're going to keep those hands high get into a boxing position so a boxing stance, keep your hands up and push the entire heavy bag forward, step back, push forward, step back, all right? Now why this is important is now you're only working legs on this round. You are not throwing combinations. So your first one, you're just doing a low stance push and the second part, you're gonna stay low and work outside the bag. So right now, walk up to the heavy bag, get into your boxing stance, keep your hands up to your chin, drop your legs, so drop your hips low, right here, low stance, and then push that heavy bag away from you and take very small stances, pushes left to right, right, stay low on your legs, so your hips never move up in full position, They're ne you're never standing straight up, you can see my rear leg flexing through my shorts, right? See that, that's what, how much you're pushing off that back leg. Flex, push, stay low in the position, and then small movements, all right? Now here, stay low, so you're almost sitting in a chair, and just low stance, outside work. So just make that half circle, full circle, whatever you want, whatever space you have available, and stay low, keep those hands up. Oh, trust me, you'll be surprised what this does. Right, you'll be surprised. So come on, stay low. Don't stand up straight. If you're six feet, work at five five. If you're five five, work at four eleven. You know, something like that. Three, two. There's no rest. Get ready right to your low stance again. Thirty seconds. Let's go. Stay low. Push that heavy bag. Push off the back foot. Stay low. Small steps left to right, right to left. Flex your quads and abs as you're pushing that heavy bag. Use your shoulders as well, 15 seconds. Stay low. Let's go, low stance outside work, 30 seconds. Keep your hips low, guys. Remember, stay lower than you normally would. So kind of be awkwardly low. Flex your quads, your ankles, your calves as you're working the outside. Push off the right foot to move left. Push off the left foot to move right. Stay low. 
And right now, you, feel your you should feel your legs start to burn. Let's go. Low stance, push. Get it. No rest. 30 seconds. Brace and push. Brace and push. Flex and push. Flex and push. So you notice my body is staying still, but the bag's moving, right? So I am still creating momentum with my body to push the bag away from me. So as you're pushing the bag away, flex your quads hard as hell with your abs. Push the bag away from you and absorb it when it comes back and push it again. Let's go. Low stance. Outside work. Stay lower, guys. Do not stand tall because you're getting tired. You are building stamina. Think of being able to push, you know, the second half of your fight or your workouts, whatever it is you do. Stay low and continue to work. You got to tell your body you still have more in the tank. Five seconds. Hands up, hips low, work outside. Let's go. Walk up to the heavy bag, low stance, push. Drop down, push. Come on. You see, guys, there's no edits here, right? We're doing this together. There's no edits. I want to get these workouts done too, right? Come on. Come on, guys. Flex and push. How much can you push your heavy bag? If it's heavier, then so what? Push the heavy bag harder. If it's lighter, well, you got to figure out a way to deal with that light work. Let's go. Low stance, outside work. Get it. 30 seconds. Your last one, guys, in round number two. Now, keep your hips a little lower because I know you're trying to stand up straight. Come on. Hands up. Flex your quads as you're moving to the side. Flex your core a little bit. Flex your glutes. Use your ankles, guys. Come on. Low. Wait till you feel the second set of legs. Ah, oh, it's so sick. Let's go. Three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. 45 second break. All right. Round number three. What you're going to do here is you're working at 80 to 90% effort, depending on your fitness level. If you're more on the fit side, work more towards the 90%. You're doing a one-two power bag, and simply what that means is you're going to extend your jab all the way out, push the jab in, into the heavy bag, hold the bag away from you, and rip the right hand. Hold the right hand on the heavy bag while you're bringing the left jab back. So there's a pause between each punch. One, stick it to the bag, hold it there. Rip the right hand, stick it to the bag, hold it there. Jab, stick it to the bag, hold it there. All right, it'll take you one or two reps to see how this works, and then let's get it. Right here, push that bag away from you. Always keep the angle away from you. And go. Boom. 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 Right? Just like that. You see my shoulders flexing, my triceps. I'm driving everything into the heavy bag to keep it from moving forward. Let's go. You can see how you can easily use 90% effort on this one. Come on. Boom. Boom. Dig in there. Don't let that bag fall towards you. Look at your target. Put in that work. Two, one. Rest. Now, two hooks to the body, two hooks to the head. Let's go. On the outside. Stay on the outside. Remember, I want long range. Work more upper body endurance. Hook body, hook body, hook head, hook head. Hands get back to your jaw, to the original position. Hook body, hook body, hook head, hook head. Body, body head head you got that come on there is very limited rest between these sets guys a very limited rest three two one let's go set it up again jab is out get the right hand ready go boom 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 keep that tempo two one two one two one come on guys get into the heavy bag keep it away from you do not let it move in towards you Don't hold back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Hooks body, hooks head right away. 30 seconds. Two hooks to the body, two hooks to the head. You can start the body or head. Doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. Get it done. Either way, 20 seconds, guys. Stay on the outside. Mid-range to outside. Don't stand on the inside. Mid-range to outside. 
Dig in a little bit. 90% effort. 80 to 90%, again, depending on your fitness level. Two, one, let's go. Power bag, one, two, set it up. Starting here, a small break in between, not too much. Let's go, left jab on the bag. Dig the right hand in, here. Switch, switch, go, go, go. You should hear a snap on the heavy bag, guys. Look at your target, keep your head straight. Rotate your hips, rotate your torso around your head. Don't turn your head, turn your body. Let's go, 10 seconds. Now I know you start to feel your shoulders now, right? If you're doing this right, your shoulders are already tired, but we're gonna get through it. Two, one, let's go. Hooks body, hooks head or hooks head, hook body. Let's go. Three, four, three, four, and go. Mid range to outside. Don't forget to breathe. Don't be afraid to use your shoulders on this one. Remember, keep your shoulder blades nice and tight though, guys. You can generate a little more power. Don't let your shoulders roll forward. Boom, 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 right? Come on, five seconds. We have two sets left. Let's go, line it up. One, two, power, go. Your last one of these guys, put some effort in here. Turn that hip over, look at your target. Keep that heavy bag away from you, especially as the shoulders are tired. Use your abs when your shoulders burn out. I'm sure you heard me say that before. It's kind of repetitive, right? But I mean it, put in the reps. Use your core, dig into the bag. Don't let the angle change. Right back, the hands pass each other, right back to the jaw. Let's go here, hook, body, for two, hook, head, and finish round number three, nice and strong before you hit that second set of your legs, that second round of legs. Come on, 20 seconds. Always giving you guys killer content, right? It's all always about elevating you to the next level. Make sure you check out Nate Bauer Elevated coming to you soon, where the, again, the workouts go to another level above these to absolutely whip you guys into shape. Rest. Round number four coming up. Okay, crew, this one, two very basic exercises. The first one is a squat hold. Now, depending on how, one, how you wanna set this up, I prefer my back against the heavy bag because it's gonna push me forward and I have to resist that energy pushing me forward. So if you have the ability to do that, do that. If you don't, have a type of hell of heavy bag that you can do this. Do a wall sit. If you want to do this with your shoulders facing the bag and holding the bag, you can, but try to mimic this bad boy where the bag is on your back, pushing you forward and keep your ass just above your knees. Flex your quads as hard as you can. All right, now sit on the heavy bag. Let's go. Get on that heavy bag, get ready for it. Hold the squat, get those arms out in front of you. Hold them there. And let's go. One thing you do want to do here, guys, is don't let your back arch too much. So roll your pelvis up just slightly. So don't sink your ass too far under the heavy bag. Try to keep that nice neutral spot. All right, squeeze your quads. Squeeze your shoulders. Squeeze your abs. Push your big toe into the floor. Flex your bum. Push your knees out to the side slightly. Two, one, very easily. Duck to the right, duck to the left. Let's go. Non-stop pendulum. So it could be roll, 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 roll. That's it. Draw that circle with your head. The first round of these, just get used to the roll, right? Roll left or dock right, dock left. Again, use your quads, guys. Focus on your legs only. Nice, tall vertical chest. With just a very slight lean forward. I'm ducking to each side of the bag. So I'm just looking at the bag to dock right, to dock left to give me something to see as I'm ducking to each side. Let's go, squat hold in four, three, two, one, let's go. Same deal, try to keep your knees from moving to the inside of your ankles. So push them out a little bit, flex your core, flex your quads, breathe.
right? See how your legs are starting to say thanks to you? Guys, you don't have to do a ton of stuff to get awesome endurance to your legs. Literally, you just have to find good protocols to get that fatigue in there. And this is one of those exercises. Now here, duck right, duck left, and move. So now, you're moving side to side. So duck, move, duck, move. So roll and move. So you're kind of doing like a small ducky walk as you're doing your, your duck right, duck left, but stay low and step. This is giving you great coordination. It's allowing you to load your legs a bit differently. It also gives you a really good stim through glutes and quads as you're moving from left to right while you're ducking, all right? All right, let's go. Heavy bag, squat, hold right here. Lock it in. Three, two, one, let's go. Flex your quads. See, that's the thing, guys. You have very limited rest, so your quads don't have a lot of time to recover. But you know, you're not doing a ton of plyometrics. You're not doing a, a ton of squats. Like some of my workouts where you're very explosive, this is very much endurance-based over the entire duration of the workout, right? So it's collectively, with all these sets put together, you're getting one awesome stamina building session. Duck right, duck left. Move while you duck. Let's go. Pick a direction and get into it. And I know 95% of you feel your legs right now. And the other five that don't, you got to stay a little bit lower. <laughs> all right, come on. Stop playing around and get it done. Get into that, yeah? Some of you are smiling right now, right? You know what I'm saying. Get into that nice little roll, that little squat position, and get at it. Come on. Some of you guys playing games. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's get into it. Your squat hold. Almost there, guys. We have... Two more before the end of the round. Get into that position. Hands out. Come on. This is where, again, your legs are lit up. They're on fire. But you can hold that for 30 seconds. Come on. You got this. The idea here is to not let your body quit. Mentally, you got to stay in the game. Remember, we're building stamina, endurance. And a lot of that, guys, are mentally tough as it is physically. Let's go. Three, two, one. Get up. Right into it. Duck right. Duck left. Rolling. Stepping. Feel the burn in those quads. Come on. Keep moving. Keep ducking. Keep those hands up in position. Every time you're rolling and ducking and stepping, think about keeping your quads engaged. So keep them flexed. Keep them strong. Keep your glutes on. Load them. Step. Two. One. And rest. All right. Let's go. All right, crew. Here we go. It's round number five of seven. This is 100% effort. You're doing 10 by sixes for freestyle. That means you have 10 seconds of freestyle combinations as hard and as fast as you can for 10 seconds, of course, and a six second rest. And we do that continuously for 10 sets. So these sets are 10 seconds long. You have six seconds rest with a free style 10 second piece, all right? 10 seconds, any punches you want, as fast as you can, get them done. 10 seconds on, six seconds off. Are you ready? Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go, freestyle. Let's go, 10 seconds. Dig into the heavy bag, fast hands. Let's go, two, one, rest. The rest periods are very short, so don't move away. Let's go, go. Freestyle, 10 seconds, whatever you want. One, two, uppercuts, hooks, crosses. Let's go, three, two, one, rest. Six seconds. Feel the shoulders, guys. Mental before physical. Let's go. Put in that work. Body, head, head, body. I don't care. Let's go. Three, two, 
One, rest. Three, two, one, go. Come on, guys. Put the work in. You're almost through this workout. Let's go. Rest. Make sure you're breathing. Keep your shoulders relaxed somewhat. Go. Use your abs. Stay strong on your legs. Keep your balance. Look at your target. Let those hands go. Three, two, one. Rest. You can change positions on the heavy bag. Get ready. Hands up. Go. Breathe. Come on, mental toughness, guys. Uppercuts, crosses, two, one, rest. Come on now. Get ready, hands up, go. Come on, speed, power. Four, three, don't give it on me. Two, one, rest. Get ready, crew. Hands up. Go. Mentally strong, physically able, right? Come on now. Three, two, one. Rest. Two more, guys. Two more. Come on, ladies. Come on, fellas. Go. Your fitness will be absolutely amped after two weeks of this workout. Come on. Rest. One more as hard and as fast as you can. You ready? Go. Come on. Fast hands. Dig in. Power. Look at your target. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Beautiful work. Let's move in to round number six. Okay, crew, listen up for this one. This is going to take every ounce of mental toughness you have to get through this round. So be ready for that. Get psyched up for that. V lunge, floor touch. You're going to be alternating legs. You go into a forward lunge position on a V angle. Touch the floor with your gloves. Come back to a standing position. Switch legs and repeat on the opposite sides. So you're basically lunging forward in a V Touch the floor, push back aggressively to a standing position and switch legs. 10 seconds on, six seconds off like this. Ready? Go. Come on. See that? I'm turning to the side, pushing fast. One little kick flip with my feet and rest. He's going to go very, very fast. So use the first set as kind of a, a run through. Now we go to work. Let's go. Touch, touch, switch, touch, switch, touch, switch, touch, switch. Three, two, one, rest. Flex your bum and your hamstrings. You will feel these tomorrow. Ready? Go. 10 seconds, guys. V position. Turn it over with your chest. Three, two, one, good. I want you to explode off the floor. As soon as you hit that forward position to bring it back, go. Power, power, push, push, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Nicely done. Come on, guys. Ready, go. Come on, push. Do not slow down, guys. I told you, mental before physical. You got to focus to get it done. Rest. Four, three, two, one, go. You can bring those hands up to your jaw between reps if you want. Two, one, rest. Four more, guys. Ready? Dig in, push off the floor, go. Hamstrings, glutes, hamstrings, glutes. Come on, use your core to help lift your chest up. Rest, quick feet. Man, these hurt. These really hurt, but they're good. They'll make you explosive. Let's go. Dig in, guys. 
three, two, one. Good. Come on, two more. I bet you can already feel your ass, can't you? Right? Let's go. Dig in. How do I know these things? Come on, crew. We're almost there. Four, three, two, one. One left. Then you have a freestyle round. Let's go. Ready? Hit it. Last set. Come on. Push. Rip it across. Change position. Alternate feet. Rest. Recover. Awesome round, guys. Good work. All right, here we go. So now all you're doing is you're training your body to let you know that you can still put in work when you're tired. Again, one of the key factors of endurance is being able to work when you ask your body to respond. So basically right now what you're telling your body is, listen, I need you to perform for me for a few more minutes and that's what it's going to do. So in this round, let your body, tell your body, I need you to work. You need to go and get it. Work at whatever pace you can sustain for the entire three minutes and own your final round. Ask your body to respond. It will respond. If it doesn't the first time, if it doesn't the second time, it will the third. Let's go. Freestyle work. Go get it. Change up your punches, guys. Right? Pivots on the bag. Work inside, work outside, keep your hands up. You wanna be crisp, controlled, and again, telling your body, you're good. We're good, let's put in this work and get this round done. Change up your tempos. Get that footwork in. You're not staying still here on the bag, guys. You're working. You're putting in that final round of work. Come on, breathe. Work body, work head. Work your way in, work your way out. Short change in angles. Strong legs, controlled feet. Pivots, slips, covers, blocks, halfway. That's it, guys. Keep going. You're good. Keep going. Once you feel like you recover a little bit, let your hands go with a little more speed, a little more power. Feel what your body's allowing you to do. If you feel like you can move your feet a bit faster because you're slightly rested, then go for it. Work on that. If you feel like your feet are lagging, do your best to get them to respond to what you are asking them to do. That is a key component in fitness. When I was cycling, when I knew I was fit is when I was cranking up a hill or, you know, I used to race and do duathlons. I know, hard to believe, but it's a thing. And when I was cycling, I knew I was good when I was working at a certain uh, wattage and I could ask my body to respond to push two or three more watts consistently and it would. So you got to think about that. You want a continuous pace with strong wattage on the heavy bag that you can push continuously, ask you to respond and it will. If it doesn't now, it will later. Fast hands to finish around. Come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys, I hope that workout made sense for you and you can see how you can really start to build stamina on the heavy bag using very simple, very basic methods to help increase, number one, your awareness of what you need to work on and obviously just increase your stamina and endurance on the bag. 
Now again, guys, stay tuned for Nate Bauer Elevated. We're gonna give you step-by-step -step programs to help make you a straight up assassin on the heavy bag and boxing, hit conditioning, strength, core. It's all gonna be available for you guys there. Check out my newest playlist right here. And again, guys, hit that sub button right about there and I'll see you for the next awesome workout here at Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys.